Hey guys, this is that one guy for the win here today. I'm bringing you my video on how to take apart your PlayStation 3 Slim. This is a CECH um, 101B, I think. And it's 250 gig, and it does have a NOR chip, so it will be compatible with our E3 NOR flasher. Um, you will need a Phillips, a very small flathead, or that screw, uh, the star screwdriver, it's like a torque T98, or something like that. And uh, to get the screws together, you'll need tape and a Sharpie. Um, I, why do I write, I draw a diagram of area, area, and then um, tape the screws down and have the area, uh, er, have arrows pointing toward the holes on my diagram. That's how I don't get any screws confused. So, yeah, and also you will need the E3 NOR flasher to uh, install the thingy magic. Um, I already put this together. Uh, all you gotta do for this, uh, I'll actually show you right after this. Okay, so if you got the limited edition, you will have your ESAS station, and here's the NOR flasher. So, um, to get this started, we'll get the parts ready. So what you need to do is take this little board, all these are little flip switches, all these flip, um, I'll have them all up right now. And uh, the red are actually buttons. So that's to control the E3 flasher. So you have this little chip right here, this little board, and you'll go ahead and on the back side, of this there's this the pin connectors and we're just let me get a good view of it you just slide that on actually I would just put it right here and you'll see it you can align it with the connectors right here so I'm gonna do that A snug fit. So we got our SATA ready, and so now let's get the uh, hard drive in here. So let's get our PS3. Like this video if you like my touch to the PS3. Okay, so let's get our PS3. Move stuff out of the way. Alright, so now we're gonna get the hard drive from the PS3 and put it in the eSATA station. So, we need to flip it over, and there'll be a little thing right here. Just pluck it up and get your Phillips and unscrew this blue screw. Uh, Alright, now once you've gotten that, you can place the cap, I guess, if you want. Flip it over, and pull this right here, that way. Take that off. Here's the hard drive. Just pull that out. Come straight out. And uh, you can actually see the cage inside. So let's put the PS3 aside, and here's our hard drive, and now what you want to do is uh, take off these four screws on the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that. Um. How do you get it out? Oh, I guess you just pull it up. Here's our hard drive. 
And now, what you want to do is stick it in the eSATA station. Here are the ports. Now let's compare it to these in here. Okay, so flip it over. And it will go in upside down like this. Let me zoom. Alright. So let's try to stick it in here. Alright. Fits greatly. And now you're ready for the next step. Now we're going to take apart the PS3. So, first thing you would do is flip it over. Alright. And what we're going to do is take off all these rubber caps. I actually use a flat tip. Go faster. Actually, this one corner I don't think comes off. So, let, these little four squares, little squares come off. One handed like a pro. Oh, oh crap. I'll get that. Instead. Take off that corner. Take off that corner. I guess it's not that corner. And yeah, that corner. So all of them except the top right. And uh, you also want to get this. Bye bye warranty. I'll miss you. There it goes. Oh my god, it hurts. Oh my god, this is killing me. So now he um oh that's cool. Now it's for sure voided. Whenever you pull it off, it turns to void. That's amazing. <laughs> so now we gotta get this magic one out. Oh, I actually pop back in. God. Alright, so now go ahead and unscrew all those, and uh, I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so once you've got that done, I actually got all the screws and one area all taped up. And because they're all the exact same, there's just four of them. And then the bottom cover cap, these are all the caps. Um, just remember, all you have to do is remember that the rubbers go on the corners. And then the uh, plastic ones go on the inside, like there, there, and there, and there. And, um, these are all, even though they're all the same, I just have them in the exact same spot you would on there. Just in case, because, uh, I've had little flaws like that that have screwed everything up. But, yeah. So... Okay, so what you want to do now is get your T8, um, screwdriver, which, um, you can buy at Home Depot, you could buy it for $10, I don't know why, Sony made this crazy screw, because, uh, they didn't want anybody getting in their system, so, uh, now you need to take off these, that screw, that screw, and that screw, with this, so I'm going to go ahead and unscrew it. Make sure it's a T8 security with the hole, and uh, I'll go ahead and screw that, set that aside. Okay, so once you got those four T8 screws out, um, security screws, not the ones without the hole. All you gotta do is lift up, and uh, it comes off fairly easily once you got your screws. There's those screws and then there's those T8 screws. They're all the exact same. I got lazy and just did that. So um, now we put this paper aside because it's filled up. So let me toss this over here. Oh. And now we want to unplug this right here by the uh, Blu-ray drive, which is right there. Wait. 
Yeah, power, Blu-ray, and fan. Mega fan. Very crazy fan. Made by Nidic. You actually might want to dust that off with a uh, vacuum, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. But yeah, all you got to do is unplug this right here. You can actually grab by the wires, but um, you want to try to grab by the plastic. There. Yeah, it just comes very easily. And now you'll be ready for the next step. Okay, so now what we want to do is get the uh, battery out. So first you want to take this one out. Pull that out. Now you want to come over here and pull this one out. It's right there. Did you good? Alright. Actually, we might be able to use a flat tip. Just wiggle it out. There we go. Now you want to screw that screw. And you want to screw this screw. And it should come freely. Just place that over there and put these two screws in the diagram for the battery. And you'll be ready for the next step. Okay, so one of the things I noticed when taking out the battery was that um, when I was pulling it out, it was coming up loosely on this side, but it was really hard to pull out. I actually thought I was going to break it, but I eventually pulled really hard and it just came up. So if uh, yours is proving hard to pull up, just pull really hard up on it. But before you do that, make sure all the three uh, cables are disconnected. And now what we want to do is uh, get the Blu-ray drive out. So let's get rid of the battery. Here's my diagram too of that. The uh, lines are where they start, the three going down, and that one just ends there. The three are down where it start, and that's where it ends. The three is where it starts, and where it's horizontal is where it ends. Um, which is backwards on, on the thing. Um, so now, we'll put this up. We're going to take off the Blu-ray drive, and we need to take out that one. <clears throat> That one, um, let me see, and that one, and uh, that looks about be it. So go ahead and get those two, and I'll tell you if that's it. Hey guys, it's that one guy for the win here. Thank you for watching the video. Um, I hope you liked it. This is part one on how to install the E3 flasher on a PlayStation 3 Slim. And before going any further, I just want you to know, that um, I did do this successfully, but um, I will have a compatibility list because there is a number of PS3s that are not compatible, um, which mine happen to be. So just look in the description, I'll include a picture of which are compatible. Um, thanks for watching, and here's the next part to this install. Thanks. Alright, so, uh, I got to do that. And for this one, it's plugged in. So, uh, for the other one, it's plugged in. I just gotta do it. Lift up on this ground panel.